hello friends welcome to share market friend again okay uh, this is my channel and this is a playlist of my channel these are the videos i have made for you for traders and investors and everyone interested in financial things okay you can check out if you like any okay come to the point which i am going to talk about in this episode okay my main point is that sun pharmaceutical share today dropped around uh, 11 to 12 percent at uh, lowest of the day then recovered on maybe on short covering to 8 percent 8 or 8 and half percent down okay uh, this is i think a nifty company also fno share so it was a it is really a big company actually also its subsidiary or connected company that is sun pharma advanced research company also dropped around 13 and half percent it didn't even show any short covering in its shorts okay if you see multi-year graph so it is they are trading now around their yearly lows if you can check it out so what was the cause of this this all uh, you must have come to know that uh, the basic story behind this though still i will try to explain uh, my view or my understanding out of this story actually this all story started when uh, money life news media group it is a financial information related or educational related financial uh, information related media group uh, they broke out or uh, open up a report related to sun pharma uh, sun pharma company and its uh, related party transaction issues okay so they have given here 172 page uh, complaint details here in a summary if you try to access this is uh, money life website okay and it is first link is showing this report only okay if you click on this report that broke out uh, so there appears no report uh, earlier people were saying or uh, there was a lot of news about it that it was uploaded on their uh, website but now it is only showing their address and uh, they are giving access to selected institutional investor or where who anybody uh, contacts them physically on their address that is at Mumbai Dadar okay so we will keep it aside for some time and we will check out whatever that has come out into the information sources or news that what was there in that report so it was all about a related party transaction issue uh, what is related party transaction issue actually whenever if you are heading a company and if you are you are doing a daily or all the transaction of the company and uh, while doing those transactions, if you are buying and selling things or whatever uh, requirement of your company from a company whose owner is same of your company means one person owner of two company and they are transacting in between that becomes kind of that is what I'm what I understood by related party transaction so in such cases uh, you may act to benefit that related party uh, from your owner company so if the owner company is publicly listed then there is a regulation that you should disclose all those transactions and the necessity for that and uh, why you are doing that and how you can avoid and all and all and all so there is a overall regulation that requires you to disclose it so uh, right now there were uh, related party transactions by Aditya Medicels that is uh, in between Aditya Medicels and Suraksha Reality these are company related to Sudhir Walia who is co-promoter of Sun Pharma also his brother-in-law of uh, managing director of Sun Pharma Dilip Sangvi so there was a case of around 5800 crores of uh, intermittent uh, amount of transaction between 2014 and 17 by uh, Sun Pharma so that related party transaction and all these details were not disclosed means basically Sun Pharma owners use these companies Aditya Medicines and Suraksha Reality to siphon of funds to other places this is something kind of allegations are there uh, by Money Life maybe I'm, I may not be correct please correct me if I am wrong okay so kind of related party transactions issues were there so in this whistleblower report that was around for 172 pages they gave it to SEBI now uh, what is supposed to happen that SEBI is supposed to happen that supposed to uh, research or uh, do enquiry of that whatever issue is that there is an act that uh, whistleblower policy says that whoever is a whis whoever is whistleblower his identity is not disclosed uh, all the details are not disclosed and he gets protection for uh, giving the details of 
any miss happening in any company so money life gave a whistle blow report to sebi okay so it was supposed to be inquired by sebi and all so i think he, i think or that has uh, actually this all matter is not clear in the media so whatever information i, I have got i am sharing with you so it was supposed to be that sebi was supposed to inquire it but before that there was a uh, point when uh, this money life they disclosed this report on their website to selected uh, premium uh, customers or particular people this is that is what was uh, discussed in media that they were sharing it with selected uh, institutional investors or whatever so what happened they got information that there is a issue with corporate governance of sun pharmaceutical and they started to sell this stock okay so the moment uh, this news started to spread in the media and that selected people has access to this information of whistleblower report other people also jumped into it and this happened into uh, shorting of the stock to the around 8 to 10 percent of level now what uh, let's see what sun pharma says okay i have opened here uh, bsc filings of uh, sun pharma they have given some disclosure regarding this actually uh, when money life uh, opened this report it was around i think 16th of january even i wasn't knowing yesterday about this report etc it it uh, broke out only when as per the exchanges say that they saw this news in uh, media house called website called moneycontrol.com they gave this news and all and all so exchanges sent a query uh, asking whether you know anything about this 172 page whistleblower news or not sun pharma says no okay uh, is there any such issue going on do you know anything about that they said no okay so many questions they asked regarding this issue so sun pharma was unaware of all this information okay so uh, considering all this situation Sun Pharma at end of day around uh, three to four o'clock sent a letter to Sebi, okay, who is supposed to do inquiry into this matter. That this information was disclosed unsymmetrically to selected people, means uh, few institutional investors or a uh, few persons who had access to this report. They only knew about this report, and of course, so they have they are creating an intense speculation in market and kind of. Uh, illegal activity is happening so they are requesting sebi to uh, take into this matter and do some inquiry that what is happening and why is happening and this matter has eroded sun pharma's overall uh, whatever you call uh, share value okay so this was counter allegations from sun pharma you just see the situation money life is saying that money life is disclosing the report they were supposed to uh, send it to sebi to the selected media and counterly sun pharma is saying we don't know anything about this report and they are saying that this is creating uh, issue on uh, market value of the sun pharma now i have put in some point so if the, uh, what we should do we are a retail traders we are a small investor or trader so we are seeing uh, there is a news of insider Uh, sorry later party transaction that is not disclosed by sun pharma okay so we will definitely start to fear that there is a issue of corporate governance and also this if this information is getting uh, early access to institutional investor then it is issue with overall system itself uh, we should actually retail investor should ask sebi itself that why it is happening that retail investors are not getting access to information and few people are getting premium access to Uh, information about a publicly listed company okay so also i have checked i want to show you one another aspect of this issue this is uh, sun pharma annual report 2017 18 if you check the past history of this company this company has performed very well especially from uh, in 13 14 and 15 financial year they are continuously growing exponentially only recently there is a dip in income also profit is growing continuously the significant dip dip in last year when the uh, corporate governance issue started to pop, pop out okay r&d investment is also continuously increasing reserves and surplus and this net worth related uh, data that is also increasing healthily only issues with uh, 
what you call adjusted earnings or uh, profit net profit from the company so that is declined significantly in the last year last to last financial sorry last to last financial on, only okay so overall if you want to see the past if you want to see the present condition of the company so company is good company has a good revenue good r and investment all only issue boggling with the company is that of or uh, insider you what uh, you call it as corporate governance issue that may be the cause of uh, institutional investor uh, fearing and shorting the stock or because from last one year this stock is going continuously down and down and down also there were few incidences uh, in august also the founder settled insider trade of 18 lakh something okay that was there, there was a news about this also last month only whistleblower found the whistleblower issues were issues were raised about founder md dilip singh and sudhir walia the brother in law okay so if this company comes out this corporate governance issue i think the overall company functioning or financials are really good so that was all about uh, sun pharma's today's related party transaction selective disclosure that that is what you can call this issue okay so i hope that company comes out of this issue early, as early as possible uh, there are three as three aspect actually uh, money if money life had such information they should have given it to everyone and if they don't want to give it to anyone then they should have given it to sebi and let the inquiry happen and let them find the conclusion money life has no right uh, to say that this was right and wrong they can give information to the probing agencies or who can give the ultimate means uh, decision whether this company should be punished or not okay and second thing that sun pharma should also be transparent in their uh, overall working and functioning where uh, retail investors don't suffer what this overall issue has made is that to suffer individual investor the long term investors also going to suffer and think about it that when this company is going to come out of this uh, corporate governance issues you can see from last uh, one and half year this company has given around one point around 1.24 like negligible return from one 1.5 years last okay so this was all about uh, sun pharma overall issue okay uh, i hope i'm not missing anything okay if you have any uh, cross opinion to what whatever i am shown in my video please share it into comment and if you like or dislike the video please click on the respective icons also there is a link below each video you can share that you can share with your friends okay uh, thank you for listening share market friend please do subscribe to my channel thank you very much